Hey there, hey, it's Kimberly with Beijing Girl Budgets, and today we are doing our bill swap, cash condensing, cash consolidation. What other phrases there? I think that's all I can think of. But today, at the end of the day, we're going to try and take some of the real money, replace it with prop money, and take that real money and put it in the bank. And by bank, I mean high yield savings account. You know, my spiel. The cash does us no good being in binders. We need to put it away, put it away for safekeeping, one, but more importantly, put it away so it can start to earn money for us. That passive income. This is the easiest way to make a little bit more money on the money you already have. Yeah? Okay, so let's get right on into it. And let's start with our high priority binder. Um, I don't know necessarily how much we are going to swap out today. I just know that I want to do it. To, if there is anything, I want to put it in the bank. So we will be equally surprised with how much we fill this up with real money. So let's get started. Okay, so there's nothing in three to six month expenses. We do it electronically as well as, well as emergency fund that comes straight with a direct deposit. So lawn care maintenance, we keep this in cash because we pay the gardener in cash. So we don't need to swap that out. Um, car insurance, we do want to start with that one. So let's get into here and let's see if there's anything that we can swap out. So right now we have 50 in the bank and in cash we have 100, 10, 20, 30. So we could definitely do some damage here. So let's take the 50s out and we're going to replace that with a 1 right now. And then we have a 20 and two fives. So we'll keep that for now. I might come back to this and swap this out for some different bills once we have a couple, a little bit more change in the tray. But for now we have 150 in the bank and uh, $20, $30 in cold hard cash. So I'm actually gonna take these out because I also don't want as many prop, I wanna limit the amount of prop bills in each folder. And so I went through and created a couple of kind of in-between dollar amounts, so like 50, per, or like 150, 250, just to help consolidate on the number of prop money I have in here. So anyway, so now we have 150, 60, 70, and 80 in car insurance. So we paid this back in, I think, February or April, um, no, March, 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 I think. So we're taking the year to build this back up. So we're on our way for that. Next one is extra debt payments, and I definitely want to put this in the bank because I need to make that payment. So that extra payment, get rid of that that um, lingering cash. We don't want any fees, and we want to make sure that is gone. So we have 250 in the bank already, and then we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that can go in the bank, and we'll keep this 20. Actually, we'll replace that with that. So 100 in the folder. So now we have um, 350, right, in the bank and 20 in cash and we're going to put this in our tray and like I said we're going to go back to that first one if I don't know, do it on camera I will go back because you know actually you know what I'll do it now so so I don't forget because I am notorious for forgetting so let's go back to car insurance real quick and this cash that we have in here I want to change this out for a 20 so no actually that's $30 sorry so I'm going to keep that and change this out for 20 so there we go so now it's $30. Smaller denominations. Bigger denominations, smaller accounts on the bills. Okay, so Lay Me Down is our sleep number bed that we're trying to get eventually. So right now we have 400 in the bank. I have 150, 60, 70, 80. So 180 in cash. So we're definitely going to put the 100 away and the 50. And leave the, that, and I think I have one more of these. I don't know how many of these I have. So actually, 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 we are going to take a $500, because we've made that, and a 50. So I got rid of a couple of, one more, one less in the folder. So, okay. So that is 550, 580. Yay. So if you can tell, I do not take cash out of the bank to do this process. I think um, the my goal is to put prop money in, not to just make smaller, like consolidate the number of bills of real cash money. I try to take all the money out of these folders as much as possible. So there's two different schools of thought. I take the money, all that I can't out. I don't leave it in here. So family would be, we have 125. There's really nothing I can do with that. So that stays as is for now. 
stock purchases. I definitely want to see what I can put in the bank because we do like to make our investments when we can. So $50 in the bank right now and I have $45 here. So it's not much I can do on this one right now. Um, when we stuff for June, like do my sinking fund process for the month of June, um, I can come, probably come back and, and take some out of that one once we're done. Medical. We have 150 in the bank, and then we have 20, 40, 60, 80. Ooh, wait. So there's so 130, 130. So let's see, let's see, let's see. 20, 40, 60, 80. So the 50 can definitely come out. So wait, I'm gonna make some change because my brain isn't working. So I'm making a change for the 20 or two times, right? So I have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So that 100 is going over here. And I'm going to take 100 out of here. So now I have 130 that way. Oh, wait. <laughs> and then I had a, a 250 here. So let's swap that out. I think I have a 250. Ha ha. 250. So this is going away and I'm replacing it with this. So this process is so fun and it's so satisfying. Um, if you've never done it before and you are a budgeter that, that kind of does this process, I strongly encourage you to do it. Because when you get to see all the money that you have and you get to see this process, which is taking this money and putting it in the bank, um, you don't have to think about how much is in here. You get to count it. But also, this right here reflects all the times that you didn't go swipe, you didn't go spend frivolously, you just saved. And this little stack of money that you're about to put into the bank to make it work for you is almost like another payday. Like, you know that you're about to make an a, a indention on the money that you saved by putting this in the bank. And that's the best part about the bill swap. So more to come on that, but this is one of the reasons why I love doing this process is because I get to see that stack of money and know that one, I didn't spend it. Um, this is our, our disposable income, if you will, and we put it away and, and I know that the amount of money that I have here, my interest rate right now is like 4.5, 4.3. I'm about to make some money, money, honey, on this, on this tray of money. So I'm excited about that. So did I do medical already? Yes, I did medical. Okay. So car maintenance is next. Let's see what's in here. So I have $100, $200. So $100 in, in the bank already and $100 here. Um, we pay for most of the car stuff when it comes up in cash. So I'm going to replace it with a $200 bill in the bank or $200 property in the bank. So there we go. Voila, power forever doesn't really have anything in it right now. I think it has a hundred in the bank already, so nothing there. Extra card payment, I think, is the same. I have a hundred in the bank, but nothing yet, no card cash there. So, all is done on our high priority, on to our low priority. So, low priority. Our spring break is a big trip for us, so we keep it separate from our family travel folder. So let's see what's in here. We have 20, 40, 50, 60, 65. So of course we're gonna take this and replace it with the 50. So this is my first time using these. I made these myself um, and I may or may not, I mean a lot of budgeters sell them and I can definitely do my version of them but they're kind of just inspiring. So I made these in hopes that I can um, encourage myself to save more and just, you know, be uplifted when I see them. So um, here's the $50 that I replaced. So 50, 65, and this is prop money. And I put the sticker so it's obvious and it says for motion picture use only. So you know it's fake money. So that's going in here, that's been consolidated. And then I don't know that I am a fan of the real money because I like to see that prop money and know that that's prop. Like, I don't want to question it. <laughs> um, but live and learn. So this is 150. We're going to take that out of family travels. 
put this in the bank and we'll replace it with 150 in prop money. So I do sell the prop monies on my Etsy shop. I'll put it up at the top for you. Um, but uh, I, it comes in a bunch of different denominations you get to choose. Um, and I do throw in a few freebies. Uh, whenever I create a prop money that I know that I will use, I'm aiming to use this $5,000 one. One day I want to save $5,000 on a folder and be able to use this. Time will come. Time will come. But in the meantime, if there's a denomination that you need, um, I can create. But you'll see that I have a bunch of denominations available. So Christmas blurs, we're doing it in a savings challenge. So there's nothing in that folder right now. Wedding day, we have 200 in the bank and 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 and 15. So we'll put this 100 in the tray and swap it out for, I don't have a $300 prop money. Might want to make that next. So that is 315 saved for wedding day. Alrighty, Disney Adventure is next. Miss B is, boy, she's just adamant about going and I really want to make it happen for her. So we are focused on it, like wholeheartedly trying to make this happen. Hopefully by next year after I find a job, still looking. If anybody knows any jobs, get, send me word, send me a DM. But right now I'm still looking um, and doing things that I otherwise would not have an opportunity to do. So I am grateful for the time that I have. Um, off from work. But Disney Adventure has 50 in the bank right now, and we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 21, 22, 23. So 123. So we're going to take, we're going to take this out in 100, right? Yeah. 100. And one over there. So this will be 100 here. 123 150 so again I think I have a couple more 150s coming yes so we're gonna take these back out and now we have 150 in the bank and we will have 23 dollars in cash it's starting to thunder it's been so hot here so so hot we have a heat advisory and so we are welcoming this break with this rain, even though it might be a little tumultuous. But, um, you know, hopefully it won't be too bad. So we have 250. I'm actually going to take this out and replace it with a 250 here. So this is outings of a pay. So any of our date night and stuff like that, that's all in the bank. And we plan most of the things that we do. So we just will take it out of the out of the savings, high yield savings account, put it in our bank account so we can spend it when we're ready to go out. Um, Mr. A's birthday. Let's see what we got going. We have a hundred in the bank. Hundred in the bank, and then twenty, forty, fifty, sixty-five. So we'll take fifty out. There we go. And one hundred and fifty now will be in the bank. And I think we have a couple more of these that we can use. So one hundred and fifty, and fifteen dollars here. So that is Mr. A's birthday, consolidated. And then mine, mine's relatively new. Um, so there's not that much in here. I think it's a bunch of one. So we are gonna get rid of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're just gonna swap on this one. Actually, we will swap that way. Let's get a crisp 20. So, $20 is on my birthday as we start. My birthday just happened at the beginning of the month. So, we're going to start building that up. But our low priority has been consolidated. Moving on. This is going quick today. This is going to be awesome. Short video. Well, shorter than my normal bill swaps. So, let's see. Do we want to do this one next? Yes. Okay. Let's just do this one. So I have not been focused on this challenge. So there's really nothing that I've done different. So we're gonna skip those for now. So this is my, um, I do Taylor's Ultimate Challenge, Savings Challenge book, volume number two. And so we're doing, we have four active ones in there right now. So we will consolidate the money that we have going. Hopefully we finish them soon. 
Um, and I can do other ones that are in there, but for now, this is what we are actively working on completing. So we have $700 in the bank for 52 week challenge. Um, and this is the cash. So let's consolidate this for sure. So we have a hundred here and mind you, I'm just going to make it easy for myself until I can get to there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me count that differently. 20, 40, 60, 81. Okay, that's the 200 I just had. 20, 40, 60, 80. And we have this one. And then we'll take that out for now. And then we have 5, 10. Yeah, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So this is 25. So we're going to take that and that. And this is my new 25. Again, I keep putting those 20s in the let's do a crisp one. That looks good. Okay, so let's see if we can consolidate our prop money. I think we're close. Is that a thousand dollars? I think so. Yes, it is. Okay, so we have a thousand dollars right there. We'll be using that. That's exciting. I love when we get to show some big money progress. So we have 1025 in this challenge. We have not decided where this money is going to go yet. We're just trying to collect it. So there'll be a conversation with me and a, Mr. A to figure out where we want to, what sinking fund, where we want to allocate it. Um, and even though we don't have, even though we don't have my income going on, we still like to give. So we might find a way to pay it forward. Who knows? But we do want to put, um, this money will end up somewhere. Um, with a purposeful intent. Yeah. Okay. So save and double is our next one, right? Yeah. Save and double is the next one we're doing in the book. So let's see how much we have. We have five, six, fifty in the bank and we have one, two, fifty. I'll hold that out. Two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-three. So that's three hundred and fifty. Sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, that's $400. Okay, so let's stop there. $400. Okay, I'm trying to remember. So we're going to take out two, two, uh, two twos for now. And we'll add that all up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's take these crusty ones. Let's keep those and those. Let's keep that one. Okay. So I had said seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need to put one of these away. Okay. So we're going to put. <laughs> okay. So we're going to keep two. We're actually put all that away, and it will be five. Okay, I think it was seven. Oh, forgot already. I'll go back and read the look at this video. <laughs> and I'll correct it. So, but there's seven here. And then we have a lot of prop money. Maybe we've made some progress here too. Oh, I think we have. So here is a thousand right there. Woohoo. Okay, so that is awesome progress. The problem is I don't think I have any more thousands. I have given them away. No biggie. We'll just take two fives back out. So a thousand fifty and then seven right here. Um I'll look it up and see where we're at. So the next one is Tis the Season. We did a consolidation not too long ago. There's a thousand there's a thousand. Um and now we have two fifty. So we will take this actually all of it out. And I have a 250 right there. So 1,250. I love this process. Okay. One thing about not using this prop money like this, this one, the real one, real looking one versus what I create is that I do have the ability to put more in the bank because obviously there's not a, a, a bill with, marked with 250. So I'm able to do more with um, the, the, the prop money that I created. 
So lastly is honeycomb and we have 700 in the bank right now. And let's count this seven. And we have one, two, three, one, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. <laughs> okay, so this is what, four, what do we count? Four, 50 in my hand. So we're gonna put this down here. Four fifty, and we'll take out four fifty. We'll take out one of these and one of these for now. But we have other ones, so let's see what we have in the bank. Going to the bank. Okay, so this looks like it's over a thousand. So five, six, seven. Let's see, seven, eight, nine. So the, okay. <laughs> you gotta pardon my maths. So we're gonna break that into, wait. Two fifty, I need, just kidding. Okay, so this is two fifty. I've replaced that with this. Okay, so let's try again. So we can see it. Again, don't judge me. Psst, don't judge me. So we have 500, 600, 700, in 800, 900, 1,000. So we have 150 left, and this is 1,000. But I don't have 1,000, so we're going to do that. And this goes in the bank, or back in the prop tray. Does that make sense, what I just said? Probably not, because I don't even understand it myself. Let's count this again. So it is 1,000, 150, 160. Yes, okay. So we have consolidated our savings challenges. Woohoo! Okay. What is next? Let's do Miss B's binder. And let's see if there's anything we can take here. So again, I pay with everything with my credit, with my debit card or credit card, and then I pay myself back. So, and especially with these things. So showing friends some love is usually like birthday gifts, or if we go out with friends or we have friends over, um, and we wanna get them something, it comes from here. So let's see, 20, 40, 60, 70, 82. So let's take out this. That was 50 and we're gonna put, okay, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna just do some bill swaps um, because we have some stuff coming up and I think I'd be better off with cash. So I'm not gonna put this in the bank quite yet, but I do want smaller increments. So that is a 70, 82. That's what we're doing right now. Yes. I made the second decision. Mommy, I want. Let's see. We have 150 in the bank already. And to that, we are going to probably swap out some of this. Yes. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 3. So let's take out 50. So 20. 30, 40, 50. Okay. Yes. So let me count one more time just to make sure. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. I stopped counting and just are silent in my head because I'm doing the math in my head just to confirm and double and triple confirm so I don't make any mistakes. So that looks good. And 150 in the bank. There's some stuff that's coming up that I know I'll buy for her and I'll be easy with cash or I'll let her buy it and of course I'll let her use cash. So Miss B's day out. We're going to put 20, 40, 60, 75, 76, 77, 78. We're going to put 50 again. So 20. I'm just going to take this and this and swap it out for this. 
for now. And then uniform and shoes. This actually I'm going to pay myself back. So 250 I'm going to take 250 out and I'm going to actually put this aside for now because this is going to pay back. We bought her uniforms and actually came today. So I'm going to put this back on the credit card. So there's no balance for that. So this 20, 40, 50, we're actually going to let's consolidate this a little bit. So that was 20, 40, 50. We're going to do this. And so during the year, if she has like a little growth spurt, we might have to buy um, one of her uniform skirts or her shirts. This is what we'll use to do that. So this is still going to be beefed up because that's going to happen. It happened um, the last few times we had to buy uniforms. So extracurricular activities has 75. So we can switch this out for a 50. So now that's 75 that way. And then her birthday, it's coming up, y'all. So right now we have 1,050. And again, before anybody says anything, I say it every time. But this is um, kind of was a holding spot. And I haven't moved it out of here into like college savings or general savings. So don't we're not spending $1,000 on her birthday. No, 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 no way. But um, that's why you see a big increment in here. So 1,050. And then this is 50. We're going to put this here. And I'm actually going to take a hundred there. So 1,105 is where we're at. Um, yeah, it's all in the high yield savings account. So I'm not really worried about it, but I will take some time and figure out how we want to allocate that. And then college savings for our binder stuffing. Let's see. It is full. And that's a good thing. Okay. So right now we have $750 in the bank. And to that we have in cash one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do this real quick, even though it might change a little bit. Five. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So let's go and take that to 100. There it is. And then 10, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So we can change this out for $20 bill. Mm. So 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And in prop money, we have our 1,000, 200, 350. So we can swap this guy out for 250. Give us back that. Okay. So we are rocking and rolling on that. So. The cash stuff and we have well over a thousand dollars now so that's good progress my goal by the end of the year is to get this to well it was when i had a job to get this beefed up to five thousand dollars we've had a little wrinkle with no job but we will hopefully with god's will god's grace get that done so we'll keep on plowing through Next one is my self-care binder. Still selling this on Etsy. It's been very, very popular. Um, I've, I actually, it was a good Mother's Day gift, and I've gotten a lot of comments about how they're starting to prioritize themselves, and that's all I want is for, for people to understand that they, in order to take care of others, you got to take care of yourself. Um, and this binder helps kind of prioritize and just make sure you're putting your financial goals 
um, on the same level as your personal goals, your self goals. So um, there's a but this is based off of kind of the things that I wanted to do generally, and I know I'm not, I'm not alone. I'm not unique. So um, this, like I said, has been very popular with just just anybody, ladies, men, anybody, moms, grandma, putting themselves first. So if you're interested, this is on my Etsy shop. Um, if you want it to be a certain, I have this and then I have a pink color flower or, uh, kind of background. Um, if you have a preference, you can choose one of those. And if you want to customize it, just let me know. We can do anything really as far as the background is concerned. But just putting yourself first. That's all my goal is. So let's see what we have in here. I don't know necessarily what's in here. So let's see if there's anything we can consolidate. So here is a 50. So already we can do that. 50. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's 150. So we can put this in the bank. Let's see. Oh, we don't have any more 150s. Well, yeah, we are out of 150s. Okay, so we'll just take one and a 50. this away, and right over there, 150 in the bank, and the $6 remaining in cash. Making progress. Okay, that's my tracker. The next one is beauty, right there. To beauty, we have 20, 40, 60, 81. 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, so I'm going to go and do this just like that. So I don't have a lot of in my hand. 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So it's actually 40. So I'm going to do this. There we go. Okay, so we have 140. So let's put all of this over here. All of this right here. There we go. And beauty has been consolidated. And then luxury goods. We have 20, 40, 60. 5, 66, 67, 68, 69, and 70. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So that's a 10. I'm just going to do this real quick. And then I'm going to put this in here as a 50 to consolidate. So there we go. There we go. Over here. We have a lot of ones this time. I'm glad we're getting a lot of the ones out of there. They just add, they keep these bulky in the space. So I do appreciate getting rid of ones. So here's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 11. So we're going to take this 100, ooh, this 100 out, and put this one in, and this. Two fives, I'm gonna change for a ten. Mm -hmm. This looks good and crisp. Ooh, this one looks ratted and tatted. Let's get a crispier one. Okay. So 111 right there. I wanted to go have a steak dinner, but I didn't go. So hopefully we'll be able to use that soon. Events. Let's see, we have 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So $30. So we're going to put all of this. I'm actually going to keep this to this $10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, 2, 4, 6. I thought it was 12. Is that another one? No, it's 10. 
Okay. Um, we're going to keep those twos. So we're just going to get a 20 out instead. There we go. Okay. So shopping, we have 20, 40, 40, 60, 71. So we will change out this for a 50. Put that in the bank. This is definitely probably going to be on the debit card when I go shopping. And this is bulk up. Bulk up. Okay. And then last one is just because there's a lot of ones in here as well. So 20, 40, 60, 85. 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. Awesome. Okay, so we're just going to put the 100 in there. Definitely a lot of ones. Perfecto. Okay. And we are consolidated officially on our self, our self care binder. Perfect. Okay. The next one and probably the last one is ooh, is our celebration. Just totally drop that. Our celebration binder. Our celebration binder is relatively new, and so. There's not that much in there, but some of them have a, a little bit we can at least do some bill swaps on, I think. So I'm not going to take them all out, but 15 is in Valentine's Day. I make her basket, so Miss B, I make her a basket, so that's what that's for. $15 is in Easter. I do a East, neighborhood Easter egg hunt. This is my favorite holiday, um, Resurrection Day. So I do an Easter egg hunt um, every, try to with the neighborhood kids and family and friends. So this is why I have this folder. So, and then the Easter egg basket for her. So um, that's why we bulked that up. It only has 15 right now. And then summertime, this I wanna put in the bank because we have fun at the pool and we barbecue and everything. And then this has $200 right now. And I, I want to have that available for me because what I usually do is just go to the grocery store quickly and then that is just a matter of swiping. So I will pay myself back on that one. So we'll take a $200 bill out of this one. So it's in the bank, easily accessible. Fourth of July has $45. So nothing to swap out. Oh, I can swap this out. Um, we're just gonna do a bill exchange, not a Prop money exchange. So that one's good. Next one is Halloween. We do this with our neighborhood friends as well. So um, we do fun costumes, not scary costumes. So this can go in the bank for the time being. Let it work for me. So that $50 is going in the bank. That's that. Thanksgiving. I still haven't gotten a, a thing for this. I'm going to make one. I just keep forgetting every time I don't go in this folder. So we'll swap this out and put this in the bank for sure. Oh, I'm running low on 50s. So that's $65 now. With prop money. Part of it prop money. Christmas. This is not part of the Christmas challenge that we're doing. This one is for if we want to do... Um, uh, decorations around the house or anything like that I'll use this fund for that so I try not to go crazy this will limit me from going crazy and only spend what's in here so this is $25 right now in Christmas right in the Christmas folder in our celebration likewise with New Year's I'm buying the fun glasses and stuff like that's ring in the new year that's all this is for so this won't be like excessively bulky or anything like probably no more than $50 in both of these folders Happy birthdays are for family birthdays, friends' birthdays. We just want to make sure we have enough disposable income if we want to buy a gift card or something like that. That's what this is for. So there's nothing to swap out there. It's only $30. And then this is for all the parent-type days, Grandparents' Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day, everything like that. Um, I bought 
Mr. A's Father's Day gift. Um, and I probably should take this and put it on the account, but I want to buy something for our grandmothers or Miss B's grandmothers. So I'm probably going to hold off on taking this and paying for the Father's Day gift. And I'll keep this for the mothers, the, the grandmothers. Just thank you gift for being awesome grandmothers. So let's see if there's anything we can do to consolidate this though. So this is $50 already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So twenty-five. So let me just do this for easy counting. Put these ones in here. So we said this was let's see. So we're gonna take that. Here. I'm actually not going to put this part in the bank because I know what I want and I can pay for it by cash. Probably be gift cards just to send to them. Okay. Last one in here is family gatherings. Um, I am going to put this $100 on there. On the sale, you'll savings. Um, main this is for if we get together as family we usually just kind of randomly hang out and if we do it'll be you know order something order pizza order chinese food something like that and i want to make sure that i can prepare for that so that's why you see kind of a family gatherings one so that is our celebration folder it's one so i think we went through everything Let's count this up and see how much we're taking to the bank, shall we? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So let's count this up. I have my trusty calculator and let's get this back right here. So let's count this. Can you see this? Yes. Okay. Okay, here we go. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 1600 dollars in ones. That is awesome. Okay, 1600 dollars in ones. So 51, 52, 53, 50. So 350 in 50s. Let's do the 20s next. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000. Woohoo! So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 420. Awesome. So let's do the tens next. 10, 20, 40, nope, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60, 70, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, Moistener, moistener. From making it bling by Erica, black and blue on Instagram. If you don't know her, you should. She's pretty darn cool. Um, let's see if that helps. Okay, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, and 30, 430, and fives, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. And ones, 
gonna split this in two. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 42. 42. And then this stack is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22. Wow, we're taking it back. Three nine nine nine. <laughs> what are the odds? So three. We call it four thousand dollars. I might find a dollar just so we can make it go up. So we are taking back in this bill swap four thousand dollars that we had kind of all throughout here. And mind you, I didn't. I did a bill swap not too long ago. So um, I think I did it maybe two months ago so we were able to either put things over the top which made sense or we were able to likewise um just build on that savings and that sinking fund savings and get it over to you know a goal meet a goal so all in all very proud so this is our stack here and i know i talked about this last time but just keep in mind, this right here, this stack of money that you see is me and Mr. A taking our time. This is like imperative. You have to communicate if you're doing this with a partner, if you're doing this as a family, you have to communicate and make the decision to put some of the funds when you get it immediately when you get it, put it away, put it into your sinking funds, put it into a high yield savings account. Just put it away, give it purpose, give it, so this dollar isn't just floating in the abyss, right? This doll, this hundred dollar, excuse me, is, is intended for something. I know that I have designated this hundred dollars to go do something for me, as opposed to just kind of floating in my bank account abyss and saying, yeah, I got a hundred dollars. I can just go, a friend called me up, like, you want to go to, you want to go to go get some um, dinner or go to brunch? Instead of me saying yes, because I see this floating around in my bank account, I don't and I haven't allocated for girls day out and I can say with confidence, I can't right now and not feel guilty. And conversely, if I have saved it saying, yeah, I can go and know that I'm going to spend this hundred dollars because that was what it was intended for. Um, just make sure that you are comfortable with the allocations that you have made. If y'all are paying 23% on a credit card and you continuously carry a balance, um, but you're doing this, then you might want to check your priorities. And I'm not saying that to be judgmental at all. I'm saying that the money that you're spending versus the money that you're saving, you're always going to spend more on those credit cards with the fees. So if you can, and if your priority is to save for something coming up that you can't get out of, totally get it, not judging you. But if you're just saving it for girls brunch or for some generic reason, you might want to consider paying off that debt. Because when you save it and put it in your high yield savings account, that money is yours. It's not intended to go to somebody else for fees and whatnot. That money is whatever you want to do with it. And it's always going to be there until you spend it. So keep that in mind. Um, when, if you're carrying debt, pay off that debt, um, when it comes to like commercial debt and whatnot, just think about it, discuss it, research it. And if you, if needs be, there's no shame. You don't try to keep up with the Joneses or anything like that. Pay that debt off because I guarantee you the people that are flossing and putting things you know, showing all this material things, if they're carrying debt, those material things mean diddly squat because that debt's going to overcome them. It's going to consume them. Um, so don't fall victim. Don't, don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Do what you know is right. 
pay off that commercial debt, pay off whatever you can. So when you earn that income, that income is yours and yours alone. And you can do with whatever, do with it, with that, whatever you want to do. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get off my soapbox. Thank you for watching my bill swap. This was so much fun. And hopefully, hopefully when you do this process, you feel as good and confident as I do. Um, I am excited about this. I'm excited that this is about to go into a high old savings account going right now when I hit pause from this video, going to the bank, um, putting this away. So this is no longer in my hands. It's in the bank's hands and they're going to start paying me to hold it. <laughs> Thank you guys. Um, all right. So until the next time, uh, be kind, be, be faithful, be, give people grace, just find a way to make someone smile. Yeah, do that for me. If you made it to the end of my video, give me the smile emoji. Make me smile, please. I appreciate it. Um, and until then, I will say catch you on the flip side. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.